world. Hello, world. We've got you from Frontline South. We got I Joe from Mood Music Productions. Uh, come back with this nostalgic exchange. We're coming mm-hmm. with a new episode and yeah. a new mm-hmm. building, new facility. Um, Still working just, on, yeah, working on some kinks. Just trying to see what's what's uh, gonna be better at the end. So, hope everybody had a good and entertaining week uh, as we have. Because um, you know what this topic is about. Yeah, we're gonna talk about this, man. We don't have right to it, man. We'll give our version on this Drake and. Kendrick Lamar, man, beef, man. First of all, cause I'm about to let you go first. <laughs> what, what you think about it? Man, I mean, from the first little diss that I heard, okay, so that like that uh, song, man, like from the first part of that, I was thinking, man, this is finna get interesting. And then, you know, Drake hopped out with it, with his little diss, Drop and Give Me 50. I think that's what the one it was. Okay. Uh, Push up. Yeah. Well, no, no, actually, no, he did one before that one. But uh, it was uh, Rick Ross that popped out after that. Okay. So then, yeah, that's why he did the drop yeah. and gave me 50. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, he was talking about him. He said, fat boy. He, like, he, said, he called him fat boy. He called him white boy. Yeah. <laughs> white boy. <laughs> so, yeah. That nigga sound like he eating right now. Like he was like, white boy. Metro Boomin. Oh, Metro Boomin. <laughs> that was funny. I was fighting in the mud. Like where he get this one from? I don't know. But, uh, you know that was, uh, that was that was just where we was at. You know, and then um um then Drizzy hit the drop and give me fifty, and then he did another one, Family Matters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So once he did Family Matters, yeah, Family Matters Family Matters had a little bop to it. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, it did. Yeah, I was but, like, okay, he he's in the bed. Cause Drake Drake is like one of those ones that's gonna. You, you kind of know what you're gonna get with your, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean he don't, be. he don't disappoint. You know he's gonna, he's gonna, you know, try to, try to control the narrative for me. Yeah, yeah, well, he tried, he tried. Um, but after he did that though, Kendrick hit him with Euphoria. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah, let us pray. <laughs> he hit him with Euphoria. <laughs> then he hit him with Meet Meet the Grams. Oh, six sixteen and then like, Oh, six sixteen, yeah. He yeah. hit that one and then meet the Grams. Wow. Yeah. He blew the free of my yeah. I forget yeah. about that. Wow. 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 No, but that, that was after Drake threw out what, what, no. what Meet out the Grams and Not Like Us was the last two. That he did. Yeah, well. Now he threw out like two or three of them together. He did, okay. The one that he did uh with Future. That was his first one. Right. 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 Okay. And that's like that, the one he got with Future. Right. First hit him, okay? So when he first mentioned that, that's when Drake came with the, I don't even remember the, the name, the one that he first put out. And I'm like, okay, it's just getting started. It ain't really finna be nothing. Okay, so that's all of it, bro. So he still got five more. I'm going to tell you who, who who explained it the best. Tony Baker. <laughs> oh, no. I'm to Tony Baker and Tony Baker said, this nigga playing Uno. Dropped his wild card. Kid just said, uh-uh, revert you. <laughs> Came right back and draw for him. <laughs> he get him back to back, back to back. He, his strategy was, okay, I see how you did me. I'm gonna do you, I'm gonna beat you at your own game. I'm gonna see let you see how I feel. And to be honest, I like both of those cats. Even J. Cole, I kind of wish he would have got in it, uh, stayed in it. On, on a, on the competitive, competitive side. Competitive yeah. sport side. You know? yeah, but, but I think J. Cole seen where that shit was headed. Yeah, because <laughs> Drake took it but, personal when he said, started talking about the family. Yeah, that, but Kendrick said that. And that's another thing. I hear a lot of people on these podcasts saying, well, Kendrick got personal. But Kendrick got Kendrick uh, taking it too far, this, this, and that. Kendrick said on the song, it was just for fun. Yeah. Until you mentioned my family. Now, I don't know where y'all guys are from or how y'all was raised, but family is off limits. Right. You know what if I you mean? Dissing you dissing somebody. You know? You're doing that, then it's, it's just me and you. Right. I go and pick with my kid, my girl, yeah. anything of that nature. Okay, the girl's out. 
We finna go in. You, 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 you open it. it up for yours to get picked at. You see what I'm saying? So it's not a he started it or he was going to go it that way. I, I think they could have had a good same beef if, if it was just smart. Um But everybody want to know who who who's giving their opinion on who. Um, mm-hmm. Normally, this would be a Drake outcome, but I'm sorry, Drake. Um, that man put belt to ass, man. Like he, he, he whooped you like put that. you on his knees, man. Yeah. Yeah. He's talking about some what's a prince. What, we say what, what, what's a king. What, what, what? Put that line. It's a Drake. He said, uh, "What's a what's a prince to a king? Your son, nigga, or something like that." I don't know, but when Kendrick said, it, <laughs> she gets in it. She's getting the real of a park his son. Hey, <laughs> hey man, this this old one. Hey, bro. Go get the little baby. Hey, go to the bowling alley. You know, go spend some father and son time. Get your mind out of what's going on because um mm-hmm. he, he playground beat you. You know what I mean? Uh, like, like he he wait, he did this in the classroom, like at the school. Did you hear uh Drake's uh response though? That heart six. Yeah, I did, I did, I did, I did. I did. What you did. thought of that? I didn't. <laughs> no, no. Remember the way he, he tried to explain that shit or, yeah, or, that, that, or that, dismiss that, that, that shit. That's my whole thing. Yeah. If you're trying to remove yourself um, from the pedophile, uh, pedophilia, you know, allegations or whatever, now ain't the time to do that. You know, you got a man that's carving you up like a turkey over here. Yeah. And spreading you then. You know what I mean? You don't have time to go into a defense. And I've heard somebody else say this too, though. But this is time when you're in rap beef. It's, it's all offense, bro. Ain't no defense. <laughs> you know what I mean? You put whoever your opponent is on defense. You go offense. So it, it, I don't know if the Ghost Riders were involved or if you decided to do this on your own. Either way, it was a bad mistake. Okay. If you tried to do this on your own, we see why you don't write for yourself. <laughs> if your ghostwriter did that, um, we we see why your team is, is suspect. You know, yeah. you you need to get rid of your your squad, bro. Um, and outsource. You know, probably from overseas somewhere. I mean, we don't understand what the hell you're talking about. I mean, right, it, more. It, it, that's that's kind of like how that was. I didn't understand what the hell you were talking about. You spent too much time defending yourself, bro. You know, yeah. you should have went just should have ate him up, man. You know, that was the time to do it. That that was your time. You had your time. Um, it's just wasn't a good look, though. It not to me. It really wasn't a good look. I, and I, I said family that Family Matters, shit. when I heard Family Matters, I said, okay, this thing for the, you know. Yeah, it's going to be a heavyweight yeah. bout. You know what I mean? It's going to be a little bit. It was a nice little bout. You said what you had to say, and I liked it that joint. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. And then that yes. was also the one that he had uh, Kendrick's uh, van on it, wasn't it? With the van. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah, 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 yeah. Totally yeah. the van. I, I got the metaphor. I was yeah. like a crush. You know what I mean? Right. I got the metaphor. I'm like, okay. Now, Jake said subliminals, too. You know, he's the king of subliminals now. So I said, okay. Okay. That's why I said I liked it. I think he might have should have dropped Six to God first. Family matter should have been last. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I can't say Drake the King of uh, Subliminals. I got to get at the Kendrick because Euphoria, the definition of it, 616 in LA. Did mm-hmm. you know 616 represents Tupac's birthday? Yeah, that ain't the only thing. No, no. Oh, it had like 11 meanings. Yeah, I know. But I'm like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yo, that's the only thing. I'm like, yo. And so some of these rappers, I mean, some of these fans I hear tonight, like, well, you got to decode Kendrick. Hey, bro, you ain't never seen The Art of War. You ain't never read The Art of War. Apparently not. You always want the opponent to have to decode what you're saying. It's just like what God did with the Bible. I, you got to decode the Bible to understand it, right? That way your enemy don't know what you know, right? That's The Art of War. If, if the creator does it, come on now. <laughs> you know, and Kendrick is more locked in, you know, with his creator than I would say Drake is as far as the, the songs and the way they did. Mm. You know what I mean? They yeah, go, he, they had two different lines. Kendrick would be all about 
how ugly some black people and this, this, and that. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's he trying to point to that too. He has a lot of message, good messages from his songs. You know, Drake gonna give you a good time and you know. He said that. He said that. Too. And that's that. I mean, but it's, it's make songs real. that pacify. <laughs> I make songs that electrify. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. You know? I mean, but Drake alluded to, to himself too when he said, "If I had it, not when Papa stayed on subconscious, you know, I'd have all your fans." So, so that was a moral. And like again, Mister Morat, yeah, that was a moral thing decision yeah, yeah. that you made to go pop and then stay on subconscious shit. But let's think about it. Where did Drake come from? Where the suburbs. His origin, though. Yeah, <laughs> right. Right. But he's from the suburbs and okay. Kevin. You know what I'm saying? His mom's white. His dad is black. His dad is black. His dad is supposed to be from Memphis somewhere in there. I think he's from Toronto, too. No, no, no. His dad is from the States. His dad is from the States. His mama and, and him was not. Because remember, he was, he was saying a lot, like, when, he, when the dude came out with, shoo, shoo. True, the song from Memphis, he was like, you know, my, my kid folks, my family members are right. from Memphis, you know what I mean? So that's where his dad from. I think his dad was a traveling musician, you know what I mean? He was doing music and stuff too. So, but just look at, even if, let's just say Drake wanted to stay on some conscious shit. Do you think he he been through enough, he's seen enough in life, yeah. or whatever, whatever, to be able to relate? Uh, well, to see, I mean, you can see the stuff that's happening on the news. You can make a good song about that. I'm just saying, life versus. I don't think so. These West Side Pop rules out here and Compton. And first of all, when you say Compton, you know what's what was. You know what it's I mean, about. It's about to be some. You know what I mean? That's gangs. That's movement stuff, man. So, that's what it's about riots from from the Watts riot back then. All this uh, Watts and Compton and all that. So. They, they from two different backgrounds. I figured that they were going to get pitted against each other because of the success. You know what I mean? Right. Eventually, the media, the internet, the industry. That's what Jake you know, We try to make money back. this way. You know, violence like, has always been entertaining. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Especially people with money. It's always been entertaining. So they definitely wanted this to go to another level. And it did. Yeah. It did, man. Um, Mr. Brown, yeah, you 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 gracefully bow out. Don't don't go with that that, that boy again. Leave him alone, girl. Um, you you go pick on somebody else now. Um, as I I don't think even if you try to come back, because they both gonna drop an album if I'm not mistaken. Well, I know Kendra finna drop one. Yeah. Um, uh, because that's what Jake was alluding to, saying, "Okay, I see why you're going so hard. You're trying to get your numbers up. Now everybody can go buy that album. It's chess." This is chess. That's what you want to do. You know what I mean? Of course I'm getting, I'm getting my numbers up so I can come and get these strings and I can get these sales. That's what we do this for. Don't act like I ain't doing nothing that nobody else can do. Right, right, I just right. outsmart you in your game on this one. You know what I mean? Top Dog said they made they made that song like two, three months ago, bro. What song? Which Not one? Like Us. What? Yeah. So he said, can you bait it right here? <laughs> so come on, get us. <laughs> come on, get this. <laughs> you know, it's like, damn, son, like, oh, man. <laughs> the, 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 the line that he said that we fed him this fake ass information. Drake, if you don't stop it, <laughs> See, my thing is, if you're going to jump into the sport and you're going to put your boxing gloves on, you're sparring him, and you're going to get in that ring, that ain't no excuses. I don't care how it come out. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have made no excuses if you would have won. You know? And now you're saying that you fed this man fake information. And I, I feel like the reason why you said that, because you feel if we find out that you're hiding another child, just like a lot of people said it, it's over. It's over. And we're really going to be looking at you like, okay, what, what kind of time are you on? You got all this money, bro. You got this big old mansion that one person shouldn't be living in by itself. No way. You got kids, yeah. bro. You got all these pedophiles. That's when he had that picture on, on there. No yeah, that's what Drake was saying. 
I mean, that's what Kendrick was saying. You got you got pedophiles around you. Actually, it, it was proof of it in the news. I know for, for at least um, one of his members. Uh, yeah, I pulled up the I pulled up the sheet on it. Um, he definitely was a pedophile. You got this around your kids, man. No. You, you, you know, but there's different angles to this story. Well, I guess it, it ain't because if you fucking with a kid, you just don't need to be. You don't need to be around me. Period. I ain't gonna allow you to be around me. But you know, right. maybe he looked at him as like a bodyguard type. You know, what I mean, you gonna see somebody you gonna file off with. Yeah, but still, you gotta have some kind of moral values and respect when you're doing this stuff. Right. You know what I mean? And your team need to be on point. The team has to be on point. Like, there can't be bad news out there like that, especially if you're going to go into war, bro. You should have seen Joe House before you even laid a track. <laughs> before you did. Red, yeah, because of, Oh, my goodness, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I've never seen him. But you got star fuck, bro. Mm, that's a horrible way of putting it. Like, he... <laughs> that's a really horrible way of putting it. He didn't... It, it was like... It was like... Like when I when I see a family when I see a family club man, that's I'm like okay, like I said okay, this gonna go. What fucked me up is that it wasn't even a good thirty minutes, and yeah. boom, it was another dish from Kendrick. I said, oh, mm-hmm. I thought I been seeing all of them. He's like, nope, he just dropped again. Yeah, Look, exactly. bro, you exactly. hear niggas outside the neighborhood? He just dropped. <laughs> he just dropped. Yeah. Like what the? Yeah. Run the house. Go see this. Oh man, you checked me. It's like he was all Every time he was trying to breathe, he got behind and put that plastic bag back around this one, suffocating and shit. <laughs> nah, you ain't getting this. You ain't getting enough on this. One. And you kept saying, "We're waiting on you, Kendrick Drake. You, you foolish, bro, because you you did this to yourself." Man. That first one, you said, "Don't take two weeks." And he didn't. You, you might have should have said. Take your time. We're gonna take it back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. That was shit talking. Man, that right might stop driving like, like a band of bugs was on you, bro. That <laughs> might beat the brace off you, bro. Like <laughs> I'm talking yeah. about Forrest rap battle. Yeah, but yeah, he said he would do that in real life too. <laughs> so see Drake as a fighter, but I, I yeah. you know what I mean. It's just, you know, it's like. I don't hang around him personally. I don't. I can say Drake can put on a little more weight than what he was for from a kid. I know he work out a little bit more. Nah, nah, that, 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 that was a fake ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a fake ass. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that's a word, bro. It's your bro, man. Yeah, Let me, let me, let me, let me ask this question. Let me ask this question. If anyone of y'all know out there, put it in the comment. What the fuck did Drake do? Like, I know the Kendrick side. But it is. You know who warned about this stuff? Who? Oh. Hey Amen. He said they was coming for him. If you ever heard that song, so Zeus. Why, why though? Because he was winning so much. And then you put it, you blowing it in everybody's face, like, you know what I'm saying? You the greatest and you this, that, this, that, this, that. But. Oh, he got cocky. Yeah. yeah. What so I'm like, okay. You know, when you win winning so a lot, that. It comes with it. You're just like, okay, okay. okay. Kendrick Kendrick show you who the greatest. Kendrick went back to this. Be humble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But see, yeah. The, what's really what really made Kendrick come out was the first person shooter song. You know what I mean? Yeah, he did that with J. Cole. Yeah, and once they did that shit, he was like the big three. He didn't even. And as soon as they said that big three shit, he was like, "Hold on, the big three. Name first person big big name." Yeah, that was <laughs> I was watching one dude listen to it every time I can say, Bomb, that nigga was talking to me. She was like, Man, he killing this man. Bomb. <laughs> it was, no, it was all of them. I said, No, this is so crazy. Man. So they, 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 oh, but, but that don't make sense, bro. What? I mean, even that don't make sense. I, I don't. Okay, Future was doing songs with him. He got some, uh, Drake. Drake. Drake got some song with Metro Boomin. As actually, Drake messed with the whole Atlanta hood, and I thought it was because it was a it was a, a point in time when Drake was calling Future like ain't nobody doing it like me and Future. Like he called Future one the great. So did he this Future too? I'm guessing that's how he put it. Um, 
So, 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 was he, okay, so when he was actually, quote unquote, helping these artists by giving them their number ones and all this and that, was he actually stealing from them? Like so, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, you know, most of uh, Weekend's album, Drake got that. Drake just took it from him. Because, for one, uh, he wanted uh, he wanted The Weeknd to actually be on his label. You know that, right? They were. XO and OVO. Yeah, but, but, when, but when Future wouldn't sign with him. I mean, not, not, I mean, not a Future, but Weekend. He, he wouldn't sign with him. I thought he was already signed nah, to him when nah, he first came out. No, nah, he was signed to another. I forgot who he was signed to. He was signed to another label. Or he signed with another label. And, uh, so, Party Next Door, Weekend. Yeah. The other club up on a Tuesday, uh, Failure. Um, all of them wasn't his uh, artists? That wasn't his artists? Who? Drake. Were those artists? Yeah, party next door is an artist. Oh they yeah, okay, them black okay. dudes. I, I, I don't party. Yeah, yeah he's, okay. he's, he got some nice little tools that are like him and the weekend both. You know what I mean? And they was all under that Canada umbrella. I guess that's what it was. That's probably why I felt like they were on the same. Yeah, but weekend and Drake was like unacceptable when the weekend first came out. I got more so excuse me. The claims on eating something. So, yeah. Pink cookies in the plastic bag. Pink cookie. Getting crushed by a deal. You have to have Kuchay song. You come right in here with it. But I, I ain't got no, I ain't got no pink cookies. So got D cookies. <laughs> so we can't never. Uh, never no, we, can, we, we can't do something with that. Man, look that up. Man, it gotta be false, bro. You sure? Okay. Let's, 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 let's. So that that okay. So let's see. The weekend yeah. manager or yeah, the weekend manager. Uh, Bodyguard, I mean, security guard gets shot at his mansion in California, right? Right. And now Drake's get, uh, bodyguard gets shot when his security guard gets shot at his house in Canada. You know, Canada, California is like a sneeze away. You know, we, oh, he gave him a co sign. Yeah, he was like in 2012, just anything he was working on. Okay, so he was signed with Republic. Republic. I told you, he was signed with somebody else. Cause like he didn't like he didn't sign it. He was like fuck that nigga. Oh, okay. Oh, so, so you you out here playing? You, you, you trying to be the the Walmart of rap? You you monopolizing over here? You trying? That's what he was doing. That's what it looked like. He was trying to to just smother out the competition. Either way, right? But it didn't work. Everybody that was talking about, but they still did music with him. He still, he still did music with a couple of uh, like Twenty One Savage. Him, him and Twenty One Savage is real tight right now. Who Drake? Yeah, so they been they did a whole album together. But you know, he he did a whole album with Future too. Right. Come to find out, Free Bands and Slaughter Gang don't get along. Free Bands ain't that a uh, Free Band is Future. Slaughter yeah. Gang is Twenty One Savage. So it's like Drake back to the future. And when Greg oh, 21 is out. Oh, that's some you know what I mean? shit right I don't know yeah. if he's really, really, if that's really, you know, right. the ops, the top he is, all the ops, no, it's just the people in the clique that right, don't like right. each other. Because I've never heard uh, Future say anything about Savage, and I never heard Savage say anything about Future. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to figure if it was that up between them, that probably would have been, you know, Atlanta is only so big. Sure. You know, they look huge, which really ain't. You on the east side, like, you, you in Atlanta? You know what I mean? Well, we've been to the city for the that night. Real, the real <laughs> Atlanta, bro. It's, the city about to go, it go down. down. You know, every time we go there, we be hey, man. <laughs> we be having fun, bro. They be going down around there. Uh, and ain't no play. I don't see it. So I don't know. So I, I think it was a whole bunch of bank going. So so it, it looks like it's a whole lot of layers to this shit, though. Yeah. Uh, I apologize in advance, people. Sorry for that. Sorry for the wait. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe I don't know, bro. Not every win. Like you didn't win this one. Um, I I had I watched Gilly. Uh, Gilly had something to say. It's like oh. No, 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 no. I, 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 usually, I have a lot of respect for Gilly. Right, right. Uh, 
on what he's done, what he's accomplished. And usually when he say something, he's on the up and up. Right. And he's he's right about a lot of the stuff he say. But this one, he couldn't have been far. But again, well, he was on Drake's huh? He said it was over when Drake dropped Family Matter. It was over. He said Kendrick raps poetry, like in poems and stuff. He don't be trying to hit it. Here's my thing. There's two kind of fans he was talking about. Those who just listen to the beat. Right. You know what I mean? And just want to vibe. Right. And then you got real music coming soon. Right. Who like bars. You know what I mean? Right. And not only just bars. Substance is with right. it. Right. You know what message. Like, you got some kind of message. With. You can't be telling me about how, how much a rich really costs all the time. Right. Nigga, I, I don't have it. So, so I can't know. relate to that. Right. At all. You can't tell me that your mansion costs $24 million. So again, I don't have it. <laughs> really you can't relate to that. Be like so. You know what I mean? So, but I'm saying, mm-hmm. it can't be all about this. I'm balling. I'm balling. Uh, everything's going good in my in my world because even with you having money, I think, excuse me, I think we all know that's a lot. Life just don't go like that. Everything ain't perfect all the time. It ain't gonna be, especially in the music industry. But what we do know about this weird ass music industry is it's just that it's weird as hell. So that line you said, if I was sleeping with underage girls and all of this and that, Rick Ross said the best line, why would you even say that, bro? I mean, did we not see Harvey Weinstein? Did we not see Epstein? Did we not see what's happening with Diddy? That's how long it took for them to even say anything. And the only reason why they say anything to Diddy because Diddy crossed the line and tried to sue the people who, quote, unquote, made him a little money. Well, they both made each other money. So, but if you, oh, oh, so the night that, uh, tonight that Diddy slapped Drake, he did. Like Drake. Kendrick, uh, yeah, he got the fight with. He had a little scuffle with Jay Cole first. Right, I remember that. Over Eve. Eve, you got the rap? Jay Cole brought Eve to the um, after party. And the rap, man. Yeah, Eve. What? Eve? Hold on, was it the rapper or was it the other? Eve, uh, uh, what's her name? The, the model chick. The, oh, Eva LaGloria? No, man. No, man. Uh, Eva, Eva Marcellus or something like that? Oh, I don't know who that is. I've never heard that. Just say, to put, put J. Cole to Eva. Now, let's, let's figure out. Let's see who this is. You got this thing. Who said? He was saying Kendrick was in the club. Fuck as hell. He don't even... He don't even... Um, he don't even come out the party. But he came out the party and been like, and he said, Kendrick's little feet were just dangling off the thing. <laughs> <laughs> he said, his feet didn't even touch the ground. But he was in my cell. He was in my cell, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So it was evil, not evil. He walked into a party with, with her. And I think uh, Diddy had his, you know, this thing for it. And I didn't think he's supposed to get everything he wanted to. He did it like dude, like women. Right. I wasn't hearing anything, but I think this was like this this wasn't recently. This was like um I wanna say a couple of years ago. At least. Well, no, no, like, like, oh yeah. yeah. So that night as we that night that cold coming out. Yeah. Right, right there in the back at the back door of the club. Kendrick and they're laughing at all of them. He said, y'all love bro. So it's like, please don't say you want no beef for me. I got too much ammunition. Remember he says that on that one line? I got so much stuff about niggas make gun one of them like a saint. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh. Because all he do is sit oh, back. Bro. He ain't got to really do that. Bro, bro, bro. They need to stop fucking with Donald, man. They need to stop fucking with Donald. That situation there. That's another thing. Like I didn't, I didn't understand that situation. Now where everybody tried to say the dude was a rat, when clearly uh, the one what's his name? Why is it was black? Was black Gotti? Whatever his name was. Yeah, yeah, Gotti. Yeah, yeah, Gotti. What is um, that's a name? It's black. But yeah, Gotti. Yeah, Gotti had already 
And not just him, the other guys, they had already copped out and took a deal. You're talking about one of the 360 deals? They had already said why I said it was a game when they when they copped to the, the murder charges and oh, all the other stuff that they had. Plea deal. Right, the plea deal. When they already copped to they was already gone. They knew they would if they have a fight. They had too much evidence against them. They didn't have mm-hmm. enough against Thug and Gun. Right. So they kind of tried to put them two against each other. The way Donna looked at it is like, you know what I mean? So I really ain't got shit to do with this besides being affiliated with y'all. You know what I mean? Right. As far as these conversations that they got on the phone and all that, that shit ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. But you want me to sit in here. I'm sending you kites. You're not sending back. Obviously, it's like, fuck me too. And if you know anything about Rico cases, if you know anything about the streets, mm. and the niggas that you run with are just that. They're just niggas that you run with. Because when it comes to getting in some heat, that top dog, they got all the money and the most to lose. Go let all y'all take that fall. And I'm going to tell you, just that you see me done with Diddy and Sean and, and J-Lo and all that. Mm. Sean didn't do that. Everybody knew Sean didn't do that. But Diddy got his lawyers to separate the case. Right? So the high-profile guy got a separate case from you when it's all about him anyway. It was going to be the same thing and going on in the third case. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, just think about it. It's always those the top ones, the main ones. Yeah, you can sit there and, and, and get your time if you're guilty of something. Right. I don't think Don Juan was any really guilty. Like I said, they didn't have no evidence of him on those conversations saying anything. They was only getting him because of affiliation. So that's what they wanted him to say. What? For them to have him locked up for affiliation. If I go shoot somebody and you're in the car with me, Okay, well that's you know I mean? that's a accomplice to the crime. Yeah, you're yeah. accomplished, but what they're saying is he he signed to the label, right? Right. He signed to the and so this this label, what they're trying to say is is, is build up on gang yeah, activity, right, right, drug right, right. money, and this and that. And you are a part of it, even though we don't have no hard evidence. This is how you're making your money, so we know you ain't be able to. So all we want you to say is why is hell is a game. I don't think I've I said that. That's the only thing about, you know what I mean? Shout out to Gunner, but that's the only thing I probably wouldn't have said. You know what I mean? So that's what you told him. Why is hell was a game? But then again, you know what? I took them back. I can't I can't say that. I can't say that because like I said, yeah, guys and them had already given them what they needed right, to know about why I sell the game. You know what I'm saying? So he just wanted an extra person that is. They need, they need. They need everybody. They, they want it. They want the. They got the little underboss. But like they, said, they, they never seen us in the light. No, he's still fighting this, and right now, it don't look like they going They gonna win against him. So why y'all going that gunner and calling gunner all this rat and snitching and all this? And Bruce killed me. Come on, man. Come on, man. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce killed me, man. But. Bullshit, come on, man. I get you that you street, and I get that, you know, uh, you did a lot of stuff and you didn't talk. I don't think, I don't think that helped or hurt it. Well, like in any way. You did? I don't think it helped or hurt it. Nah, from what, from what Jonathan said? Because here's the thing. You don't have Gunner on anything solid to say that him and Gunner went somewhere and killed somebody. You don't have them with big, huge amount of drugs. Their money is coming from music, which they got label checks to show. You right. see what I'm saying? So if Gunner was to say anything, it can't really, unless he say I was there and seen this, that, this, that, the third, you know what I'm saying? He didn't yeah. say that. Right. He just said why I said it was a game. The whole Atlanta know that. Right? I mean, come on, man. The whole Atlanta knows this. 
how you think the police know it? Because the streets know it. Right. That's where they get their information from. Like, they're not making this shit up. So when you got YSL chains on, and you got 20 niggas with blood rags on in the club or, or in the neighborhood, right. you know what I mean? That's a fucking game. So for me to tell you something that you already know, that ain't very helpful. To you know what I mean? That ain't, that ain't finna hurt my boy. I don't care. And that's the thing about the internet. The internet, you guys don't, especially if you have never been in, in, in court battles and stuff like that. Like, you and everybody, the internet I always feel like whatever they have to say is valuable. That they know best. You know what I mean? Know. That's They love to do that shit. You don't, you don't know shit, especially if you've never been through it. That's what I'm saying, because he never really had his I mean, thing. It was two, uh, two court cases. Yeah. They paid hundreds of thousands of dollars. Man. <laughs> to try to get out of some shit. Uh, still lost. Fuck that one. Damn. Yeah. I remember those days. Yeah, I remember those days. Thank you, Father, for sustaining me, even though, you know, yeah. I lost a few. But I also won a few, so. I'm kind of happy with that. Yeah. I'm still here to be able to do stuff, you know what I mean? I wish we could have, you know what I'm saying, like played the videos. That would have been hard for us. We could just play the videos. Which one? The, the, all, the whole beat from front to back. Right. That would have been hard. Right. right. That's like, I mean, Tim, if you want to pull that up, man, you can play it. But at this point, we already know, we all know what we're saying. Well, yeah, we do. We, we know. Like a reaction podcast. That man, <laughs> man timestamped his ass with. Hey. He timestamped it. Like he knew hey. what he was going to do, how he was going to do it. Man. And it was the execution. He he, he executed hey. to the T, bro. He, he had a game plan. And he, he did it with precision, my guy. <laughs> you know. What was it? So, Mr. Aubrey, I'm thankful. That's why he made Mr. McGrath. Somebody said something about they didn't understand it. And I was like, if you don't understand Mr. McGrath, <laughs> he's talking to you. He said, wait, what? Somebody said, I don't understand that album, Mr. McGrath. I didn't understand it. I said, if you didn't understand it, it was aimed at you. <laughs> so, that's not bad, Like, come on, how you not? Like, the album was great to me. It was a good album. A really good album. Out of Pepper Butterfly, bro. That was. That's a fight. Even the name of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> come on, bro. Like, we decoding is in effect. And you need that for people to understand what you really. I like to decode stuff. You know what I mean? I like to go to bars and get the meaning out of it. I don't like everything to be easily fed to me. I got brain music. You know what I mean? You're supposed to be here, but yeah. Use it. It's called brain food for a reason, you know? Because if you're able to decipher it, then you can start doing it yourself. You know? right. It's a tool that you can use. I was like, oh, man. So, yeah. Hands down. Who you pick? Your choice. For what? For the beat. <laughs> we already know. My, my choice is. You going K-Dot? Hell yeah. Okay. I mean, that was, my, that was my dog from the beginning. So I'm like, man, KB. I'm like, man, Kenny, man, you, you know, better, you better kill him. You better kill him, man. That was biased. That was not biased, actually, in all of this. Because I've been listening to Drake since Take Care. Yeah, you told me he first came out. And that's you didn't have that's a choice, the only though. album <laughs> that I actually bought. That wasn't even an album, though. That was a mixtape. Take Care? Yeah. Well, they, they hit it like an album. No, I thought So Far Gone was the mixtape. Hey. Was that his first one? Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, that yeah, was it. Yeah, I thought that one was the mixtape. Yeah, it was the uh, mixtape. Take care of him. He, he was, it was a real body of work. Yeah. He just had this melodic melody, you know what I mean, when he first came in. And I was like, okay. So I bought that album. I bought that album. I was like, okay. But yeah. then I started hearing him on the radio so much. So it was like... I don't need to buy an album. I hear this nigga every time I turn the radio. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it's like, okay. And then when Kendrick came, I didn't catch all the Kendrick. 
What was the first song in there? First song is I don't know. I don't know. The one wake up, drink. Uh, uh, which one that we know what I'm talking about? Uh, uh, when he uh, diving in the pool of liquor or something. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, swimming in the I forgot the name of that song. Sure, forgot the name of it. So but that's when I probably got, got a hold of him. So I was like, okay. No, I ain't gonna ask you no question because you, you, you don't talk shit. Well, Siri, I asked that question. Yeah, so I was like, okay. This, this guy here was. But I didn't know I didn't know okay that I was gonna spin a spiral out of control and anything. And, but you say growing to the artist that he grew into. I didn't see that. You got a poster? Yeah, yeah. yeah. For, for, Again, was, uh, Pepper Butterfly. He goes where other rappers refuse to go because they're afraid of swimming pools. Yeah, swimming pool. Yeah, that was that was the first time I heard of Kendrick. And that's his first album. No, nah, it wasn't his first album, I don't think. I think that was his second album. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm pulling on. And even then I didn't buy uh a lot of his No. Good Kid Mad City. Damn. Yeah, that was two thousand twelve right there. Yeah. yeah. He did. But I didn't, I didn't, uh, so I had about the same, yeah, to say this, I had about the same for his music content on both of them, so, and J. Cole, too, I had the same, about the same. He started in 2001. Mm -hmm. I don't remember him in that relationship for me. Who? Kendrick? If you got got one. To me, he's been on top since he came up. To be honest, he had that album called the Kendrick LP. Even like he had C4, mm-hmm. Overly ded- Dedicated, United, Unitedly Unmastered. <laughs> he had Section 80. Then he hit the Good, good, good Kid Mad City. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, hold on. I, I went on the wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, those. Hold on. Those was first. Yeah, 2009, 2009, 2009. I mean, 2010. Okay, so 2010, overly dedicated. 2011 was Section 80. Then 2012, he did Good Good Kid, Mad City. Mm-hmm. Then 2015, it was The Pepper Butterfly. Yeah, he's cocooned out of that motherfucker, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same Uncle Dan, yeah. then Mr. Morale and the Big Step. Yeah. Yeah, that was another reason why he came at them about the uh, first person shooter because you know they had a lot of like, like slick shots that they were saying about Mr. Morale and uh, the Pimple Butterfly that, that type of stuff right there. They was you know they was like throwing shots in the song, but like they weren't saying it. They was just like you know they was just kind of saying you know. Yeah, so that video right there, though, that's Drake's house. You see all the all the all the little dots on top. That's the, all the pedophiles that stay that's in, that was in his house. You know what I mean? So it was like, God dang! <laughs> what y'all really doing in that house? Like, what? Mm-hmm. Weird shit, man. Weird shit. But if you notice, it was like kids were saying this shit too. Dog, uh, there's only three ghosts left, and I seen two kissing on stage. <laughs> Wait, who was he talking about? Who was he talking about? Just think about it, bro. J. Cole bagged up, right? He's the same two niggas that got slapped and did it the same, slapped by did it the same night in the same fucking club. Okay, so Drake is going to so y'all formed a bunch. Now, when I first heard the story, I was I heard that. Somebody told me that J. Cole taken up was taken up with Drake. What? Because Diddy was, you know, treating him like a bitch and whatever, slapping him, choking him and all that, and said J. Cole was taken up for him. <clears throat> but when the story came out, it was different because it was like Drake wasn't even there when J. Cole got into it with him. And it's like Diddy secured the area up and, and as soon as they had stuff from broke bottles and stuff, you know, they got him out of it. They got J. Cole out of it. 
and then when I said, I guess they were trying to talk about, you know, what, what was what and the reason why or whatever. whatever. I never thought J. Cole was a hoe, but I never looked at him as a gangster either. Right. You know what I mean? We know what Diddy has done. And his, his shit got a lot of layer to peel back. And so when he look at Lil, because I think he had a problem with Kendrick saying that. Did he Kendrick have a king of New York song? Yeah. Uh, he said something. He was like, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the king of New York, some shit like that. But I'm trying to think of what's the name of that song. And I, I know Diddy. Yeah, he said Diddy and uh, had something to and, say. Jay Z kind of laughed at that shit. Like, yeah. nah, nah, nah. That's Diddy, that's what Diddy, I heard. Diddy was you disrespectful. You to my chin at the New York and you from Cali. So Diddy, Diddy was talking about you know violence, but Snoop was like, can you can't buy his feelings. And they got a hundred thousand cool, girl. You don't want to do that. Like, you got a pay nigga from out here to handle your business. We live out here. Right. We'll send them to you, bro. <laughs> They'll don't come right back you. still got to come to Canada with you. You get most of your money. Any artist that perform or in the music business, if you're doing good, most of your money is coming from California. That's the love of entertainment. You're going to have to come to California. The way he said, my middle name is extortion. As soon as you took off that plane, bitch. <laughs> you better give me that money. <laughs> you got to give me that money or I'm going to take it. Why? As soon as you come off that plane, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, Wack 100 was telling the story of how they did the song 100 with the gang. Yeah. He said, Drake was a bitch then. <laughs> he said, Drake knew the beef that he had with Kendrick. But he said, he said, I'm popping more hard than you in your city. Nigga, stop it. <laughs> You feeling yourself too much, you know. What That's mean? what it is. You, you 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 got a lot going on for what yourself. Rightfully so, you you've trampled this game for a long time. Ain't nobody gonna take that from you, bro. But to say that you were popping more than Kendrick in California is a lie. You know. That's that's a bold thing. Like Come to your city anytime, anytime you want to. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> he went to the same restaurant. And Drake got robbed in the Toronto. I'm in your city. He fried rice. You want to blame me, crony? I'm going to have to do this. Somebody get out of the line. I'm going to have to touch with him. You said somebody in your family go bleed, crony. It's like, I want them to keep it sweat, though, man, because I just don't see that being in the competition. Being where you're yeah. from and the background that he has, I just don't see Drake being in the competition itself for what the music. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Stick to that. Stay on the offense. Yeah. You know what? Maybe it's time for you to give it up. You had your reign. That, that, that's the thing about a lot of these rappers. You know, they don't. They don't want to let it go. Have to go taste. Yeah, they don't want to let it go. They have to go out bad. Yeah, Instead of just gracefully bowing out and saying, you know what, I'm going to give my money somewhere else. I made enough money. Yeah. You know, let me go get you off for something else. Let these little dudes have it. These young guys have it now. Uh, now, Dre, Dre said, nah, y'all can't take me out of this. I was born to do this. Yeah, well, we, we, we see that. Yeah. Um, we were born to cause some trouble. Mr. Graham, you. you or Drake, have you prefer to be called? Um, you got your ass handed to you, bro. And there's no escaping this. Well, you heard what he said on uh, 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 Heart Six, right? I don't even want to, I don't even want this you no more. <laughs> At this point, you lost. I mean, he was coming out of some store or some hotel or something. And Man, one of the reporters was just right there in his place. Kendrick is better. Kendrick is better. His security turned and looked like, get off the man. You know, that ain't, that a chill. Let him chill. And he come back around and report and say it again. Kendrick is better. Kendrick is better. He took the hall in his name. Mm-hmm. Say, and I'm thinking, I know Drake like, man, I'm sick of this. I just need to get back to J. Cole smart. Right. So they got to This ain't going to be no friendly competition. Well, <laughs> if I seen two of my ghosts kissing on stage, I don't know what's going on over there. But it seems like somebody didn't want that shit aired out. You know what I mean? And I, hell nah, this nigga ain't got no filter. You know what I mean? Right. This is you talking about beef. I'm not saying that uh, Jake Cole is gay or anything. I ain't 
Yeah. Yeah. So, wait, he don't fight. Who was kissing who on stage? Though? That's what Kenzie said, though. He said, only three goes left, and two of them was kissing on stage. That's what Kenzie said. So, they say, look, 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 they I ain't gonna lie, and I did like that line. Friends yeah. had a baby by, you know, his, he said, Dave Friedman yeah. had a baby by, and that's Kendrick, you know, home. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and then if I'm Kendrick, the gloves coming out too. I can, I can only, you know, pamper you for so long. Right. It's time to bruise that ass now, bro. And the mm -hmm. calls, yeah. you know, don't mean no anything. Yeah, no ditties. Take <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. What are you gonna tell you? Have you seen that uh, that video with it? Uh, that comedian was talking about uh, all the houses in uh, L.A. have been broken into except Diddy. It's a, it's a terrifying feeling. Like going to nothing. It's a terrifying feeling. 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 Take that, take that. Oh, man. Hey, man, you try to leave. Get that music, come on. Dun, dun. <laughs> Did it tell that nigga, hey, you ain't. No, you know what? Can't be doing it, man, like this. It's like an Italian dude or something. He went on, on, that, on that little joke session, man. That was so funny. And I'm like, it's crazy. Damn, a lot of ain't breaking them down. They're afraid they can't get it out. <laughs> hey, one day, did, did, a dude did a, like this Facebook reel where he he claimed he was like a new artist, a bad boy. <laughs> and he dropped a, he dropped a, what did he drop? A poem or something. He dropped it on the ground. But he dropped it. And as soon as he dropped it, his hand, and like he said, he said, he said hey man, welcome, welcome. He said, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing myself. Gee, man, look. Yeah. I was like, man, these boys, boy, they, when they, when they, when they, when they get some news, though, they, they go with it. They go hard on it. Oh, yeah, he spoke on it. What, on, on, on that whole situation? Remember, he said Drake got a white baby uh, sugar daddy named Lucia. Yeah. He said Lucia is. The guy that's got the control of the music business, like where the radio plays and all that. That's right. why they be trying to black this Drake competition so he can stay on top. You know what I mean? Because you remember when Kanye used to go on rent to my phone? Uh, they wouldn't play his music on radio right. or they black ball man. That's when you talking about Lucian. You know what I mean? And you know what that reminded me of? What was that, um, that movie that uh, she played? Uh, uh, Taraji played Cookie. Was that Empire? Yeah, it was Empire. Remember Lucius Life? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was, uh, what's his name? Uh, no. You know, it's, 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 Kind of get the overall picture. I heard right. that going. You know what I mean? And that's crazy, bro. Like, the music industry is weird as hell. Like, um, I I'm just going to say this. See, I started watching Empire because of the gay That's, that, that's, that, 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 I don't see no other man breathing down another man's neck. Yeah, yeah, no. Hair and legs on each other. Y'all was nasty, bro. Yeah, like, that's the feeling I get. You know what I mean? Like, nah, bro. Nah. That's a that's a whole different type of evil, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they was having these parties where it was men and women in there, and dude inside of a woman, and then a dude behind you and you inside of him. You know what I mean? They come by gang banging parties or something. No. Some orgy. And I'm thinking, I would kill. Right. I would kill every bitch in that party. I don't care what celebrity you is. It ain't going to be no more of y'all today. 
<laughs> you know I mean, we gonna have to start a whole country of new celebrities because whoever in there that night has died. Uh, with me, damn, man. Afraid of that? It's not. Trying to burn that bit down with y'all inside it. Nobody it's leaves. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah, and nobody many you believe. make a, a, a funny gesture like that. You know what I mean? Keep the keep the hand be left. Say he's in a wedding. The pub pub walked up to him. <laughs> Hey man, you don't let me take your shot. You say this shit. Let me do this work for this nigga before I fuck this wedding up. Don't ask no other grown man, can you take him a shot? God, it breaks him. Huh? Go pick him up, pick him up. That nigga never asked a grown man. Bro, like that. Hell no. But then I look and see Meek Mill and Diddy dressed alike. And then I see this, the one where he's recording and he's saying, yeah, daddy, you deserve it. Look at you, daddy. You putting in that work. And me actually look like his butt is hurting in that, in that pool. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it could be that he was just having a hangover and he didn't drunk too much. But so what Gene did say, them, them, them alcohol be spiked anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah, well... You know, he started off one of his songs talking about something, forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Who was it? Meek Mill? You ain't heard that song? You're lying, bro. No, he did. Oh, yeah, you got to pull this up. Uh, it's confession? It's tape confessions? What are we doing, man? Like, when I heard when I heard the beginning, I was like, I don't even want to know what you did with Diddy, but that was, that was not even cool. Enough. Give me what I did with Diddy. Oh, hell no, me. Me, you mean to tell me you was a spoils of war, man? <laughs> no, not the Philly goon, not the young boy. Come on, bro. Nah, man. Come on, bro. Don't, I, I, I thought it was just accusation. I'm like, come on. Bro. If he said that, then that, that's, it, it gotta be true. That's real. Green change Hope they forgive me for what I deal with. Did. Is this AI? They talk to me. Come on, chat. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the one. They, they won't give me the whole song. I want to hear the whole song now at this point. But I mean, but is that clickbait though? Is it true? Because you know people can. Yeah, they can AI some shit. I know yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, ain't nothing safe no more. You know. I thought Meek was one of them guys, man. One of them was, you know. Oh my, I'm trying to find that song. Okay. You know what? This is why. This is why you don't look at people with that way. Alright, man. Yeah, we'll come back with QA. So, what's the name of the song? Yeah, this is like whatever I want. Whatever I want. I don't think this is it. No, they got PBO Foreman on. The beat ain't even the same. Yeah, you're gonna sound like uh-huh, that PBO Foreman. Like, like, dream chasing. He was saying dream chasing. Yeah, this ain't yeah, hot. That ain't That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, so that probably wasn't even. Meek, I hope you. Yeah, I hope I don't find I'm going to say this to all you young artists out there that's looking to make your name in the way in this music game. Please don't compromise yourself for a dollar sign, bro. Because this, it, once you get in that circle, you can't get out. And they just going to do you any kind of way anyway. You ain't going to get no... Look, man. If a grown man has to bend over and give himself to another man just to make a dollar. It ain't worth it, bro. It ain't worth it. You know what I mean? I'd rather put two in your head and rob you. You know, when you try to do something like that, then not, not. I'm fine, man. I don't think I have something. It's not fair about this. This, uh, Parental advisory is uh, in effect, full effect right now. But for you young artists that's coming up right now, 
I know you guys want to be on that top tier. You know, you look at Jay-Z and Diddy and Meek Mill and all these people as your goats, your idols, and this, this, and that. First of all, no man should idolize me another man in life. I don't care what achievements or accomplishment. If it's not Jesus, the only person who did it right, whatever it was, no matter what it was, you shouldn't idolize nobody who bleeds just like you, who makes mistakes just like you, who looks like you. You know what I mean? You don't idolize them. Now, you can say, hey, I appreciate what you've done, and I want to do right, something right. similar to you. But don't take the role less, I mean, take the role less, take the role less travel. That's what we're trying to say. You know? Don't take the road that's been trapped too much. You know, feel good and something. Yeah, because everybody's everybody's willing to wear a dress now, man. You know, everybody's willing to put their feet in the system and you know, get strong on I guess. You know, well, I can't say everybody, but you know, those who are in that circle and know how things going, they trying to push you to the back because they they are already up there. They, they want to do it too. I wish we could just burn all y'all to hell, bro. Really? We ain't got no firepower. Oh, I mean, we do. So we just don't know who it all is. You know, and if you're out here funneling boys' booty and, and man booty, you need your top knocked out. Like real talk. If you if you go that way and you're in a relationship, that that's a whole nother thing. But I'm saying if you in a powerful position and you're standing here calling yourself a gatekeeper and you're only going to let certain people come in because they're going to do what you want to do somebody need to set you up in the alley and not come through and knock your fucking top off because it needs to be knocked out you know what I mean <laughs> I don't give a fuck at this point I won't even try to hide it when I do it you know because it's wrong it's wrong. And you're fucking up people's it is. dreams, their mm -hmm. hard work, and everything they did for somebody that worked 15 years to get here. And because they won't open their legs to you, um, and they got the hottest on probably in America, mm -hmm. but because they won't do no immoral shit and go against what they believe in, they don't get an opportunity or they don't get a chance. Black ball. Mm -hmm. the music. That whole music foundation need to be tore down and destroyed and yeah. rebuilt right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Rebuilt. Yeah. It's like the Tower of Babel at that point. Yeah. Well, I think that was another thing that what? they was also saying too, like, like Drake being Jewish and I was in Bar Missiles in this video and this and that. <laughs> Kanye alluded to, alluded to, right, um, those in position being of that same right. descent, you know what I mean? Holding him back or whatever, whatever. So it was like a corroborating, and here we go again. Again, this ain't no anti-Semitic mumble jumbo, none of that bullshit. We're not going there. Facts is facts. And you guys are looking at this, and then here's why I'm like. You'd rather see what they want to see then. No, nah, but it's like, you know this shit to be true, but you don't want nobody speaking on it. Fuck that. You know what I mean? You don't want nobody speaking on it. When you looking at it, you know it to be true. Even the people who have been in the industry, they have all said similar things. You know what I mean? Well, these gatekeepers, these people who will not let you get your music played, these people who will only let certain people go because they're in their circle and they're doing what they're doing. Right? It, so they just call them spade to spade, man. It is what it is. Keep that shit from us, though, bro. Like, it's not going to heal well for you. Uh, like, if you. If you think about it, move away, move around, bro. Like, if you happen to see us, and you are that way, just move around, bro. Like, we're not violent people, but that, that, that shit right there. Yeah, that shit right there, like a push. Bring out, bring out just something. Yeah, bring out something else. You mad man, man, when you you on some bullshit like that. Like so, again, we don't have nothing against them. Those who are in relationships and those who are living like that. Um, personally, that's not my lifestyle. 
I don't agree with it, but I don't agree with a lot of stuff. It's just my opinion, you know what I mean? So who am I? You know, you ain't going to lose no sleep over what I say. I don't pay none of your bills. So you do it on that note. You know, just flag it. It's just flamboyant at this point, I guess. So that being said, we just had to eat y'all with this one. Uh, as you can see, we working on some new um, in the background. Yeah, we have different places that we'll be doing this these these podcast sessions at now. Um, different you got anything you want to touch on? Um, when do we eat? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> now, man. We'll finish third yeah. down, man. So if you hold that, I gotta go pee my pants, man. You ain't got to, but you know, what I'm saying? I I do. And the problem it's called nothing in it. Yeah. <laughs> Love, peace, and have each other until we see y'all next time, man. Uh, no, speaking of that, you know, I just put something on there. So, have you. Man, get you. <laughs> <laughs>